What's up everybody, welcome to Edixor. In this video, we are going to learn all about keyframes in the new Vinci Resolve 20. So let's get started. A keyframe is a marker that tells Resolve at this exact time, I want this value to be this. And we add another keyframe later with a different value. And Resolve will automatically animate between these two values. That's it, that's keyframing. You can use keyframes in the edit page, the fusion page, the color page, and also in the fair light page for the audio. So now we are inside the Vinci Resolve and we have this drone clip of a car. So now let's select this portion and drag and drop here. So this is our clip. We want to make some zoom animation on this clip. So for that, we need to add some keyframes. So how we can do that? You can see all these properties, zoom, position, rotation, all these properties. And beside that, you can see these diamond buttons. These are the keyframe icons. So if I click here on this zoom property, you can see it's turned red. So that's how we know we added one keyframe. And if I go a few frames forward, like here, and add some zoom like this. Now you can see we added one simple animation using keyframes like this. So how we can see the keyframe that we just added. So for that, we have two options in the new Vinci Resolve 20. So one is here. If I click on this icon, show keyframe tray, you can see these keyframes. So these are two keyframes. If we select these keyframes and drag, it will increase or decrease the duration of this animation. So if I decrease the duration of this animation, it will be very fast like this. And if I increase the duration of this animation, click and drag here, it will go slow like this. Okay. So let's undo this. If we want to make this animation smooth, we have to open the keyframe window from here. Just go to the keyframe and click here and you can see all these properties are listed. For our case, we have just added the zoom properties. You can see the keyframes here and now we want to make the animation smooth. For that, go here and click to the drop down menu and go to keyframe curves and select this. We can see nothing. It's just showing blank. So. If we want to see the zoom animation properties, go to the parameters and then go to the video and select the zoom properties. You can see this zoom curve that we just created. If you want to make the keyframe smooth for that, select these two keyframes and click on this icon is in and out. These curves are now smoothened. So if we play, you can see previously it was linear speed. Now it's just increasing the speed and then also decreasing gradually. It's a smooth animation like this. You can, if you want to change some another properties, you can go here to the parameters video and then you can select any of this. Now let's add some rotation and position on the same clip. So now let's go here, add some position keyframe on the beginning and the rotation and go to exact same point and let's add some rotation to this clip. Let's add some more zoom and rotation like this. Okay, so if we go to the rotation properties, position and rotation properties, you can see this is our position property. This is our rotation property. We can also make them smooth at once. Just select these curves and go to easy in and out. So if we play, this is a smooth animation. So you can further customize your animation properties using the spline handles. If we click on these keyframes, you can see these spline handles and you can select and change the animation properties using this spline handle. So if I play this, the speed is changing according to the spline handles. If I make the curve like this, so if I play, it will go zoom out and then zoom in. If I make it like this, you can see it's zooming in and then zooming out. This is how you can customize your animations. If you want to make some zoom and move around this curve canvas, you can always do it from here. Just click on this drop down and make some zoom. To move the carved canvas, just middle mouse click and drag it like this. So now let's see how we can animate some text and logos using the keyframes. So now let's go to the effects and select a simple text, drag and drop on the timeline. Now let's add part. Okay. So we want to animate this from here to here. So for that, go to the settings and so either we can change the position from here like this or we have another easy method go here and change this to transform and we can drag and change position like this we can change the rotation as well you can make it bigger or smaller 
by dragging like this. This is a easy and quick method. So let's say we are going to change the position from here to here. So we will keep the text outside the frame and add some keyframes in the beginning and then go a few frames forward and we'll make it appear in the center and we'll make some zoom as well and let's add some rotation for this text as well okay let's remove all these keyframes from the bottom layer okay just reset it as you can see our animation is not very smooth so now let's increase the duration of the animation a little bit let's click here and drag it so this is our animation and we need to make it smooth so for that go to the keyframes again and you can change the parameters from zoom properties and we added some rotation and some position as well so you can see all the properties that we changed so select all of these properties at once and go to easy in and out like this so you can see how smooth the animation is so now let's add some logo animation as well so this is a vinci resolve logo png just drag and drop on the timeline so we want to make it appear from a very small logo to a big logo so for that let's add some keyframes in the beginning so if we click on this icon it will make keyframes for all the properties at once so now let's make it small and we'll also make it rotate or let's add 180 and let's go few frame forward and make it bigger and let's make the rotation zero so if we play so this is our keyframes and we have to go to the keyframe tray again select all the keyframes and is in and out so if we play you can see it's working like a charm so if you want to make this logo animation look little bit more organic so you can add some motion blur to the logo so for that just go to the open fx and search for blur and you can see this zoom blur so if i drag and drop this you can see it's adding some motion blur to the logo we want to animate the zoom blur property using the keyframe so now let's add some keyframes here and let's add the keyframe here to zero so if we play this you can see it's looking more organic this is before and this is after we can also add keyframes to the color page as well so let's see how we can do that so now let's go to the color page so we want to make the exposure of this clip gradually increase so let's just go to the node this is character one or node one just add one keyframe and let's change the value let's decrease the exposure a little bit and go few frames forward like here and increase the exposure like this so you can see this keyframe in action so if we play this you can see it's going from dark to bright you can add keyframes for all the properties let's add some temperature changes as well so if i play this you can see it's going from this to this so that's how you can add keyframes in the color page so the last not the least we'll add some keyframes to the audio so let's drag and drop this audio here we want to add some keyframe to the volume property of this audio and for that select the audio just go to the volume and add a keyframe and decrease the audio like this so, if we, so now let's add another keyframe here and just increase the volume to let's say zero now let's play it So you can hear the volume property is reacting to our keyframes. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope this video was helpful. So if you like the video, please drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy. Peace.